What's happening everyone? Back to another video. Today, kind of random one. Just some shit happened down at the gym. I think there's championship games on tomorrow. Just saw it start vlogging. See what happens. And also, we've got some buffalo burgers and we go, look at that there. Yeah. I don't really know how to start this. I got excited and picked up the camera. Oh, yeah. So, down in the gym here, had some lunch. Buffalo burgers, unbelievable. Gotta open up a shutter, hold on. Okay, so back in the gym. Today's just one of them really busy days. A lot going on, with a lot of clients in this morning. And then I was picking up some equipment for the gym. And uh, now I've got to set the equipment up. But I've got people on a quarter past four and it's like, it's two o'clock now, so we've got two hours to put this together. I'm pretty useless when it comes to this stuff. Um, so yeah, kind of a wee bit stressed getting this done, but um, yeah, let's do it. 3D energy, what's your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. When I started to really get it. I think this one's pretty good. Let me know if you've had them. Okay, so we've got one of the racks built. It's a nice big power rack which you can jump inside of. So we have here where you can do the bench and shit. But also you can do, there's big heavy like pins. So I really kind of like the idea of doing pin press and block pulls. You can do it over there, but it's just not overly sturdy. Um, and the other issue I had was that when there was a large group in, you know, in the evenings, there's only two racks here and that's for pull-ups and for ring rows. And that's things I have a lot of people doing. So it just meant that if someone was benching, someone's looking to squat, you're kind of snookered. So hopefully this will mean that everyone can just do, you know, squats, anything like that in there. Here, obviously, for benching, and then here can be for whatever, but at least it means there's a wee bit of freedom for ones looking to do pull ups and chin ups. So, yeah, the only issue I have is I need to figure out where this is going to go. I was thinking here originally, but I think it's just too big. So, what I am thinking now is in here, move these kettlebells over to the other side, um, make a bit of room here. This can all kind of be shifted up, and hopefully, that'll mean that that side in there should be pretty much all racks and platforms, which I think will be pretty cool. And then over here, I'll, I'll put my dumbbells in there. If it works out, that it's just it's just not going to work and not going to fit. Then there'll be a power rack for shield. But um, I think that might work. See how it goes. You know what? See what fucking happens. It's not the end of the world if it doesn't work. So I didn't really get a chance to show you his. Um, then the, the setup I went for. Um, once came in and just got away from it. We had a really good night of coaching there. Um, just good good vibes and uh, everyone was happy. We had a whole different group of ones in. And whenever the whole new setup is here and everyone was in, it was just brilliant. Like, and you're feeling very fortunate to, to be able to coach ones in here. So I'll show you a wee tour. Okay, so here we've added in these racks uh, and then this bench in here. And then we have our normal stations here and there are two squat racks here. Now the reason we needed to get kind of more racks in was because if people wanted to use chin-ups or ring rows, it meant that people couldn't do uh, benching or whatever the fuck you were doing. So it meant that you only had two racks to do chin-ups, ring rows, uh, benching or any sort of barbell exercises. So we needed more, didn't need more space. So now basically all benching can be done there. And then any type of squatting or pressing could be done in there. And we have our deadlift platform. Uh, area down the middle for our prowler. And then in here, so we've changed this about. We have our lap pull down. We've added in the GHD in this position and then three bikes all there. So I think that looks pretty good and there's enough space. There's enough space in there to still kind of move about. Um, and now we have, what we didn't have, like I moved the sofa. It used to be here. I've now moved it to here. And um, it's opened up a fucking pile of space in here. So like, we had a class, I had a class in there tonight and that whole area was being used, whereas before it was wasted. So kind of improved that space. I'm happy about that. Um, I just kind of, kind of went, like I know there's a lot of stuff, but went minimalistic and got rid of stupid shit, tried to clear it out. And I think it's turned out really good. So I'm happy with it. Um, but like this, this gym, there's a lot of stuff in it now. And um, 
you know, it's, it's great whenever people come in, they're like, this is class, you know, it does feel amazing, but literally the whole thing started with one barbell and a set of plates and everything has been collected over time and over time. You know, I didn't have the money at the time to buy a load of shit. I had a couple of racks at the start. I actually seen a video from last year when we opened up the first gym across the road and I think I had one rack, a trap bar deadlift and a barbell and some kettlebells. That's what it started with and now it's grown to fucking all, all of this shit here. Um, and that has just been collected over time, you know. It's pretty cool, like it's amazing when you sit and look at it all here now. It's very fortunate. Um, but yeah, that's Friday, it'll end Friday. There's some matches on tomorrow, some championship games, so we'll take you as, a, I'll take you as with me to them and we'll see what, see what happens. But yeah, good Friday, feeling fortunate. Yo, yo, Saturday morning. Gonna go and bang out a quick wee workout here, some upper body stuff, and then I've got a client in, and then I'm going to watch this football. So, I've been uh, following the past couple of weeks a kind of west side barbell template from a train or a conjugate method. I know that sounds confusing, basically, it just means you do a really heavy day and a really fast day. Um, kind of just been playing about with that now in pre season, so I have the opportunity to fuck about with these things. Um, so, today's upper body day. Um, I'll take you through it. I don't know, I might maybe I'll like do a commentary of it. Would that be cool? I might do that. Just get into it here, do a commentary for you. But um, yeah, playing about with some different programs at the minute, testing out stuff for the lads that are going to be coming in for their off season here. You know, I, I like to be the guinea pig before I make anyone else do it. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. That shutter never fucks up. Also, here's another point. If you've been watching these vlogs for a, like a relatively long time. And this light here always flashes. I don't know why the fuck that happens, because it doesn't flash in real life, it must just be the camera. Maybe somebody smart who explain to me in the comments why that's happening. I keep forgetting them turn on the light and then it flashes and probably get someone fit at some point, so I apologies, I don't know why the fuck that's happening. But anyway, let's get training. So we're going to watch two games this morning, um, Glack and Money Moore playing in Division 3 Championship, I think it's maybe semi-final. A couple of lads from Glack have been down training the gym and using their recovery stuff, so hoping they do well today. Um, and then afterwards, Drum Cerner playing Blairn, which will be a really good game. Drum Cerner's kind of like, I think, they'll, I think they'll go good in the Championship, they're a really good team. There's also been a big squad of them have come down and, and trained in the gym and supported me, so um, a lot of friends there and I, I really want them to do well because I know how hard they've been working um, but I know they have a couple of injuries today but hopefully they do the business as well no no offence to Belair and these are great too but jump certain they're my boys um, so yeah I'm going to watch these games me and Gordon and uh, yeah hoping they're going to be good and I'll bring you with me Okay. Yes, boy. What's your goal? Buy fuck a car, Shane, eh? Hey, the goat drink. Vulcan. Am I happy for you? I have two thousand calories at the end of the day. Hi. Um, my uh, mate's why well, I called my Superman just now. All right. And uh, I have. What is your Vulcan shake? What do you mean Vulcan shake? The shake, isn't it? Oh, the shake, eh? What do you have on it again? I have uh, natural yogurt, uh, peanut butter, whole milk, and then it's the weekender and protein. Ignorant. How many ignorant. calories does it come out to? I can't remember now. Is it over a thousand? I think it's not far off a thousand. Uh, 
there's a there's an actual back lad. Dominated midfield so well. Kickouts uh, killed too. Uh, Kickouts really killed him. Jumps are dominated in midfield and players just are, couldn't. Jumps are midfield wanted. And they couldn't get up the pitch like. Ah, uh, definitely. Um, momentum so fucking big too. If you don't have momentum from a kickout, you're fucked. Ah, uh, but so one bad kickers. Aye, uh, one bad kickers. Change the game. Definitely I think Trump Turn will be be hard beat. What do you think about that? Um, uh, lad, an older man from Fort Glen told us that that Fort Glen will never be beat. Or was it? Beat the fuck out of Claddick. Yeah. We'll beat the fuck out of Claddick. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be interested to see the next couple of rounds go. Okay. Never beat us, they'll beat us in the fight and they'll beat us in the football. Aye, if they don't beat them in the field, they'll beat them in the stands. <laughs> <laughs> So this is Claudia and Lesson then? Uh, this is supposed to be having the center of excellence too. Yeah. Almost excellence from there. Big call, Cordy. I don't like that. I just almost been in last game. I believe that they never should be on. Um, Claudia should be on this. Should be. There's about a hundred million fucking spaces here. I bet it makes the lines of big out of the reverse now. Is this game definitely... I'm not sure. You're definitely in the middle of two spaces here. I know why, but I'm looking to see if there's people coming. The quality's are warm up. It's definitely those five, I think. Did you come over here because I had the camera on? <laughs> the Mahara Glen debate. There is going to be it. <laughs> it is Mahara. There is going to be it. Right, okay. For everybody on educated, by Goshi. And Google. Pardon me. I have a Google. 
Glen is the club Mahara is the town. The club is not called Glen Mahara. The club is just called Glen. I have no doubt that Mahara is the town that goes with the club. Oh god. I just re backtracking now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're no, backtracking. No, no, you guys are wrong. Very impressive. Very impressive. I'm loving this new squat rack for her uh, for training. Really fucking good. Hey, what's happening? Um, so, finishing off the uh, the vlog for the weekend, there's some great football on. I was kind of annoyed I didn't get to the, the matches today in Big. Um, there were some senior games on, but it just was the way it was. Um, but I just want to kind of sum up the, the games. I'm going to go on Twitter and make sure I got all the right details. But, um, yeah, there were some really big results over the weekend. Um, probably the biggest one was, was Banner beating Swatra. Banner probably wouldn't have been favoured for that at all, so that was really impressive and I've heard they played really, really well, so um, that was a big shock. Swatcher on them teams you were, you were kind of fancying and they've got a great youth, so it was surprising. Wasn't at the game, so I'm not too sure what went on. Um, Glenn uh, beat Lavi. I think that was probably the pick of the games this weekend. Um, I would have loved to be in it that there, but uh, Glenn have always been one of them teams you've, you're expecting them to to get very close to the championship, they've been so successful on their age, it's really, you would think it's a matter of time, so it's going to be interesting to see if this is a year, Slack Neil were still pretty dominant, um, and now they actually play Glenn in the semi-final, that's going to be a big one, that's going to be a really big one, and then the other side of the draw is Banagher and Maher Felt, um, but the Slack Neil and, and Glenn game will be, be a good one, definitely going to try and get to that there. Um, and then on the intermediate side, uh, the draw, so I was at most of the intermediate games, Drum Cerner playing Claudie, that's going to be a really good game, that is going to be good. Um, hard to even know what way that will go, I don't know how well Claudie were tested in the last game, Drum Cerner really overcame a lot I think in that last game, were really dogged, um, but it's going to be a tough one, you know, Claudie has so much firepower up front, how well the Drum Cerner did with that, Drum Cerner are very strong in the middle, um, if they have all their men back they're very big physically too. Um, Claudia though have been there for a long time, they've been in Division 1, they've been down, so they're they're a classy team like. Um, and then the other side, Four Glen play Castle Dawson. Four Glen were the team beat us. Um, a really good side, really good side. I think they're one of the favourites for the championship. Um, so you would probably be fancying them for that Castle Dawson game, but chatting to other players and other people, and apparently Castle Dawson played really well last day, so the intermediate league in Derry is, is just so wide open. Literally any of those four teams have a big shot of one of it, you know, maybe in other divisions, there's maybe only one or two. An intermediate, anybody could talk about it. So those games are going to be going to be really good to go to and I'm looking forward to it. And then I think on the junior side, Glack are playing drum in the final, which is going to be uh, another good game too. Uh, Glack played pretty well the other day. I think drum probably maybe wouldn't have been fancy to make it to the final. So it was really impressive for them to get there. Um, so I know they probably struggled to start of the year with numbers and stuff and getting men out. So. That's a really big result for them. Um, so yeah, their football, their championship football is brilliant. You just don't know where, what way it'll go. It's so competitive. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to these next couple of games. So it's semi-finals for intermediate and senior and final for junior. So it's going to be good. I'm going to make sure I take us along for them games as well. But yeah, um, good weekend of football. Hope you've enjoyed that vlog. 
as always, share this around. Um, you know, make sure you subscribe, like it helps out, you know, more than you think. Um, and it makes me feel that I'm doing something I'm not wasting my time basically. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed them games this weekend. All the teams playing fair play. I would have liked to be in there as well. Um, yeah, see you in the next one.